three. <coughs> three, the quadratic function is defined by fx is equal to x squared plus 6x plus n, where n is a constant. A express f as in the form of this one, where h and k are constant. So this one is basically completing the square. So a f x is equal to x square plus 6x plus n. So to do completing the square, what we have to do is that we have to see the first two, x square and 6x. Okay. And then we add this one bracket square minus bracket square and then we put our n so x square x and then you add bracket with plus and minus this one must be the same thing so what is inside is this one you have positive 6 right this one should be positive 6 divided by 2 or positive you can just write 6 divided by 2 6 divided by 2 so you have plus 6x plus 3 square minus this one is 3 square plus n. So do you still remember a plus b square? So, so when you have this thing square, what you have to do is that you will square the first one and then 2 times b times a, you get plus 2ab plus b square. This is the formula. So this is what we have here. You can see that 3 that uh, so this one is x plus 3 square 2 times x times 3 is 6x and this one is x square and this one is 9 so this is how we get this one it's 3 okay and then we just take the rest of it so this one is negative 9 plus n so this is what we have in the form of h minus x minus h square plus k where h and k are constant so from here we can see that Okay, x minus h square plus k, right? h is equal to negative 3 because negative h is equal to positive 3. And then k is equal to negative 9 plus n. Since it's only one us to show in form of this one, so this is the answer. Okay. B, given the minimum value of fx is negative 5, find the value of n. The minimum value can be found from here. This is the minimum value. Okay. When we form x minus h square plus k, we can get the minimum point, minimum point at h and k. When we have minimum value, that is the value of k which is negative 9 plus n negative 9 plus n is equal to negative 5 n is equal to so we bring it to the other side negative 5 negative 9 become positive 9 so here we get 4 the value of n is equal to 4 c sketch the curve of fx to, to sketch the curve first we must know the minimum or maximum point and then x intercept y intercept this one if any it doesn't necessarily have x intercept this one we can also check with p square minus 4ac if it is smaller than 0, that means it has no x-intercept. Okay. Minimum, maximum point, x-intercept, y-intercept. From here, from fx before, fx is equal to x plus 3 square minus 9 plus n, right? And we get n is equal to 4. x plus 3 square minus 9 plus 4. We get x plus 3 square minus 9 plus 4 we get minus 5 from here we can get minimum and maximum point okay we can see that here this one is positive for if the graph is positive that means we are having minimum point minimum point is 
negative 3 and negative 5. So this one is supposed to be x minus p square plus q where p and q is the minimum or maximum point and you see this one is negative, this one is positive, that's why it's negative. Now we have number 1 which is negative 3, negative 5. Now as intercept, if any, b square minus 4ac, we have to get abc so that we can substitute fx is equal to x plus 3 square minus 5 which is equal to when we expand we get x square 2 times 3 times x we get 6x 3 square we get 9 minus 5 so we do x square plus 6x 9 minus 5 is 4 b square minus 4ac b square minus 4ac is equal to b is 6 square minus 4 a is 1 c is 4 36 minus 4 times 1 times 4 is 16. So here we get 20. Since 20 is larger than 0 or larger or equal than 0, that means that this one got x intercept. So we have x intercept. From the calculator, menu alpha A, depending on what calculator you are using. So polynomial degree 2, 1, x 4 so the intercept are negative 0 0.76 and negative 5.236 or negative 5.24 so the x intercept is x is equal to negative 0 0.76 and x is equal to negative 5.23 and lastly the y-intercept is when x is equal to 0 fx is equal to x plus 3 square minus 5 when x is equal to 0 we get 0 plus 3 square minus 5. So here, 9 minus 5 is equal to 4. Y intercept, when x is equal to 0, y is equal to 4. Since we have everything here, 1, 2, 3, now we can sketch the curve of fx. Minimum and maximum point is at the negative side and x intercept is also at negative side. Okay. This one is 4. So we can like make more at the negative side. What is equal to 4? This one is the y-intercept. So this one to might be here. Okay. This one is the y-intercept. And then minimum point is negative 3, negative 5. So 4 here, 5. Okay, this one is so 5, negative 5 might be here, which is the lowest point. Negative 5 and negative 3 so 1 negative 2 negative 3 remember this one is negative 3 so some here is the minimum point we have this point we have this point now the s intercept negative negative 0 0.76 is somewhere here and this one is negative 5 for me somewhere here now we can sketch because it is just a sketch so as long as you get the shape and the intercept correct. So here. And this one, you cross this one, make sure it is smooth, not. Okay. Alright. So this is how the graph looks like. So this one you can also extend. So this is the graph. Fx x plus 3 square minus 5.